4,000 days in hardcore Minecraft. I almost die multiple times, and on day 4,000, I take on a Skylim MLG without a totem that in hindsight, I, 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 I wish I hadn't done. I also throw a load of netherite into the void. Yeah, you, you'll soon see why. And I build a very cool custom portal room and a new and improved dragon farm that can defeat the ender dragon instantly. I did have to use up a few days from this episode to finish the last project, which is why we're starting seven days in. And I would like to make things a, a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna give myself 20 minutes on the clock. And those 20 minutes start now. In this small amount of time, I have to try and find a notch apple. If I'm successful, then it's, it's happy days. But if I fail this challenge, then I will force myself to do a water bucket MLG from Sky Limit. Oh, and when I do that MLG, I won't be able to use a totem. So yeah, there's quite a lot riding on me actually finding a notch apple in the next 13 minutes. And in this first pyramid, we have had no success. I'd better keep searching as fast as I can. On average, it should take 10 of these to find one. I don't expect the second one to have anything, but <laughs> I can only hope. Third one has also had nothing. Maybe a ruined portal can save the day. No, <laughs> no it can't. But the fourth pyramid is here, and the fourth failure. I have to say, it's not looking good. We've got about five minutes left. No joy so far. I've only managed to find four pyramids, which is, is a bit rubbish. Two minutes left. I've found another ruined portal. But can I find the chest? Well, yes, finally I can. Nothing in it. Of course there isn't. There's a pyramid up this way. Less than two minutes left. It, it's got to be in here. Come on, game. Don't let me down, please. Just when I need it. No. Okay, come on, come on. Let's just keep searching. There's got to be a savior somewhere. None of that ruined portal, though. 40 seconds left. I've found the sixth one. Surely this has got to be the last one. And there is absolutely nothing here. But I see one down there. I've got, I've got eight, 19 seconds, 15 seconds. Come on, SB. This is it. We're swooping in. We're not messing about. Let me in, please. Quick. Don't blow the place up, though. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> I think we've failed the mission. Which means a Skylim MLG with no totem will soon be happening. But before that, I am going to still try and track down a notch apple. And I've now searched 10 of these without finding anything. The odds are not in my favor. What an interesting temple. We've got ourselves a dungeon right by it. Does it? Oh, it does connect as well, but it's, oh, it's got one chest. Well, nothing useful. And that is 17 pyramids I've searched. I've still not found anything. And I've spent 40 minutes looking. This is really not going to plan. And this is the 20th one. Can't believe I've searched so many without success and nothing has changed. Finally, after searching 23 of these stupid pyramids, I have found the Notch Chapel. It, it took just less than an hour, 59 minutes and 50 seconds. Just in the nick of time, and I am most certainly now going home. And look at this, a giant bastion with a netherite ingot. And there's another one here with another netherite ingot. And it is now very nice to be back home. I can get all of these different items repaired and add this notch apple to the wall. Although despite that, I did fail the challenge, so I can no longer hold that totem. And last episode, I got so many suggestions for the name of my new ocelot. But I've decided to call him Leo. Yes, Leo the ocelot. I thought that's a, that's a really good name. And what are you, what are you guys all looking at? Oh. The new poster for 4,000 days is here. Looks like you guys aren't too happy that you're forced to stare at it, but I have personally signed each and every one of these, which took a very long time. And they are limited edition, which means once they're sold out, they are gone forever. Just like all these other ones. You've you got to get them for your collection. And I've also signed one of them with a special gold pen. And the one random lucky person that gets that poster will get a free Nintendo Switch with Minecraft as well. They'll probably run out in less than a week, so get them whilst you can at sp 73 store the link is in the description. And you may be wondering, why have I come to the end portal room? Well, if we hop on through, apparently my game has, has frozen. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. I don't know what's happened. It's it's frozen if I try to move around, but I can pause the game. I'm going to try and lower the render distance or something. Okay, yeah, for some reason, being in third person is okay. Wait, we're okay now? It's... I don't even know. Did that? Did, what happened here? Did the wither escape or something? I don't remember. I think maybe TNT went through the portal or something. That was the problem with that. I, I don't know why everything went laggy, but we're, we're okay now. I decide I'm going to do the totemless water bucket MLG at the end of the video, so I actually have a video for you guys to watch in case I die, because there is a there's a decent chance of me dying. And I don't want this video to only be about three minutes long. Bro, what is going on? Why is it updating so slowly? <laughs> it's weird. This is so weird. Oh my goodness, what is over there? There's just like a million... I can't even see it. I'm going to die here if I'm not careful. It's like I just flew over towards the Enderman farm. Okay, come on, SP. Don't die. Don't fall in the void to lag. I'm just spamming rockets here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so over, <laughs> over in that direction. Okay, they all despawn. Were they? What were they? Were they particles? It was the TNT, I think, not detonating. Because 
This is crazy. But everything is now absolutely fine. Must have been the TNT back from when I blew up the end portal room area. I was very worried for a second. But anyway, I'm going to remove all of this old dragon farm that's broken and ruined. Because of course, we're going to need the space to make a bigger and better one. And there's no time like the present, so let's get busy clearing everything up. And now that this has all been removed, I should also destroy this contraption all the way up here. And before I'm ready to do any building of the new dragon farm, I'm going to need to collect quite a few resources. And what's one of the main ones? Gas tears. I need lots and lots of gas tears. <laughs> 43 isn't going to be enough. And before we start that quest, let me grab a hoe and then dry out all this sponge. And then it is time for a little bit of good news. Earlier in those two bastions, I found two ingots. And if I put that with the seven that I already have in this shulker box, I can craft a block of netherite and add yet another one to the netherite beacon. Hopefully I'll get a few more than that today, but, but for now that's good progress. And no doubt a lot of you guys would love an up-to-date world download for 4,000 days. Well, if this video gets 250,000 likes, I'll release one in the next episode. If you pull that off, it would be my most liked video ever, which, which would be insane. Now, in order to solve the gas tier situation, I'm gonna need lots and lots of items. And that is every resource gathered up. Although I should also grab some obsidian. That, that, that bit's kind of important. And we, we've got a lot of obsidian. And glass. Whilst I'm here, I'm grabbing glass. And now some of you may remember, I, I actually already have a gas farm. It's this very nice big farm right here. And I'm going to go and head on through because this is where the ghasts will teleport. And I believe the gas tiers go into one of one of these. But as you can see, we, we've not got much there. It's slow. That's all I can say. It's slow. So the plan is to first break this portal. And then I'm going to build up way higher into the sky. Look at that. I can build the scaffolding as I'm climbing. And now that I'm up here, I can begin building a portal. Now my portal can be created. These walls will hold in the ghast. And the composters are very important to make sure it doesn't escape. And now for a bit of fancy redstone like so. This is what's going to turn the portal on and off. Which is going to teleport the ghast back through. And will allow me to use the looting on this farm and that is what will quadruple the speed of the farm now i shall create a hopper clock and that is portal number one complete and then above it i'm pretty much building the same thing as what i did down there except i should probably have that composite to be one higher there we go that's much better then i can add the portal walls and the mission has been accomplished but i'm, I'm missing a very important item and, and you guys <laughs> You just missed me. A bunch of iron is required and also a load of flint. Although we, we haven't really got much flint. However, if I grab some gravel, I can then break the flint using Fortune 3 and guarantee myself to get one every single time. I know it'd be fast with a shovel, but I haven't got a Fortune 3 one of them. And now with mission accomplished, I can craft a bunch of flint and steels and fill up this chest. There we go. These need torches on the end so that the hopper clock is going to actually work. But I'm also going to need to actually put items into the hopper clock. And look at that. One of the portals has been lit as well. Well, at any moment now, there we go, look at that, swaps perfectly. I think my work here is done. Right here is the very middle of this part of the farm. I'm going to grab a bunch of scaffolding again and stack it up right here. Although, having said that, there is already a platform up here anyway. Although, it's a little bit higher up than I need for the portal to work. So, you know what, let's just go back to the scaffolding idea. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Why did you guys not teleport? Is it... Could you... Oh my god, it's carnage here, guys. We've got gas everywhere. You guys get out of here. Come on, you're meant to be able to teleport. I think they're coming through and then they're coming back through. It's carnage, guys. It's absolutely carnage that I'm getting out of there. I probably should have built that top portal before building the overworld ones. Now, I've made it to the height I want to be. I'm going to have the portal right here. This platform is it's kind of in the way now. Now to build a bit of a collection system, which will make use of these hopper minecarts. And now I've built this little area that will trap the ghasts when they come through. They'll get stuck thanks to the composters. I'm going to light the portal and... In theory, if it's correct, if it's working, ghasts should already start to come through. I don't know if it will, though, because I think there might be an overload of gas. Maybe I need to fly up first just to unload those ones. And now we wait. Okay, something's happening because gas is spawning and, and things are coming through. But the gas aren't getting teleported back. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? This is... This is a disaster. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've now got the farm working again. So I'm hopeful that this time we can wait and, and everything should work. There we go. Wait, a ghast has come through. So I stand here and I take out the ghasts. And these chests nicely fill up with loot. I'm very pleased with how well this farm is working. Which means I can grab obsidian and also a load of stone bricks. And now I can expand this farm to add even more portals. This layer has been completed. Now that I have obsidian farm, I can just make so, so many of these. I might... I might try and go as high as I can. Look at that, there's a lot of gas there as well. But yeah, I think I'll go as high as I can go 
without messing up all of the portal connections. And I've now successfully added many more layers. I just need to spawn proof these portals, then light these final ones, and the farm should run so, so much faster. It's absolutely massive. There's already a bunch of gas up here, which I can easily take out in one fell swoop, and more keep coming through very, very quickly. This is definitely the new fastest way to get plenty of gas tiers. The loot effect really makes this so, so much more profitable. And now that I have more than enough gas tiers, I can focus on the next project, which is it's a bit of a mini project. Let's chuck all of that in there. And then I'll grab this string and the shulker boxes and get busy covering this entire mega base so that not a single piece of snow can spawn. This is going to take a lot of string. And for once, I'm actually very glad that it has started snowing because it means I can see any bits that I might have missed with the string where snow can fall. And I believe every bit is now covered. There's no snow that can form anywhere. That's, a, that's another job jacked off. Might as well get all these resources back home as well. Well, as many of them as I can. Can't quite fit all of them in my inventory. And for this next project, I'm going to create something that won't be able to be made in 1.19. So I want to do it now. It's going to begin by me digging a tunnel down here in the treasure room. Yeah, we're, we're going to be expanding into this area now. I'll have some stairs like this. And I can use this extra stone that I am mining to make more stone bricks. Because stone reserves, as you, as you can imagine, are a little bit low at the moment. But we can easily now do something like that and now that i've dug this down far enough it's time for me to create an update suppressor you've seen me build these many times before but it is the last time i'm gonna make one so i shall grab all of the resources and get cracking and the whole thing is is now complete it took a lot more mining out than I first thought. And next, my vision for this room is to have quite a lot of white on the walls. And I reckon white concrete may be the answer. Though as you can see, we, we need way, way more of it. Which means grabbing a few stacks of sand, as well as some gravel, crafting it, and adding it to this machine, where it will all be placed down. And in a very short space of time, all of it has been blown up by that TNT and filtered into these chests. Before I can actually do anything to the walls, I, I think it'd be a good idea to mend my pickaxe. I don't really want any more to break in my world. And so this gold farm will solve that problem. Next, I should also grab the materials that I'm going to make these fancy... Have I even told you guys what I'm about to do? I guess you could probably tell from the update suppressor, but I'm going to be using that to build a room full of really cool custom portals. What's the point of these portals? Well, well for now, there won't be too much. But once I update to 1.19, I won't be able to make these, so I'm going to take the opportunity whilst I can. First things first, I will switch the update suppressor on, break this bit of obsidian and also this one, then they can be changed to diamond blocks. And then I need to raise up this slime a little bit so that I can move the rails up without the machine like connecting on the slime. So there we go. Then I can break these because it's once again all suppressed. And then I need to do some more modifications up here, which isn't quite as straightforward as it was for the last one, but something like this it works okay that's that's all i was hoping for i can then move these to be all the way at the top i, I think I, I think it's yeah <laughs> can't believe this is actually working guys it's gone very very dark in here because you can't see the portal but look at that nicely exposed and i can break all of this look at this it's, oh, it's definitely coming together now it's going to move downwards which I, I think if i just do something like this uh, maybe not. Slightly modified. It Does Does this work? <laughs> I've no idea. I'm, I'm, I'm going to find out the hard way if it, if it doesn't work because it's all going to break. But if I break this little bit of obsidian, look at that. Update suppression is still working. So this is, this is the way to do it because I can do that. And then I can also do these bottom ones. There we go. And just like that, we now have ourselves a diamond portal. I think it looks very, very cool, but uh, <laughs> we need more. And now I just have to extend this line so that I can make the second portal. Had a bit of an issue putting the longer one without getting in the way of this diamond portal. If, if this works, it would be a miracle, isn't it? I don't think it's quite quite there. And after a few more adjustments, the update suppressor is working and extended. But I would like there to be an ancient debris portal right here. I mean, we're, we're not really rich enough to... Uh, <laughs> to afford a netherite portal. Although having said that, we are technically rich enough. And after this episode, I'll never have the chance to make a netherite portal again. So you know what? As much as it pains me to do this, we're mining up this netherite. This is like 10 hours of work down the drain, but you know what? I, I don't care. That was actually a bit of a lie. I, I do care very much about what I'm doing right now, but I'm sure it'll be worth it when the project's finished. So as always, we first start with the obsidian, light it up and then begin mining. Those two are gone so we can add in the two netherite blocks. And this is where I'm going to start to get a little bit stuck because I've got to actually extend this rail to now go upwards, which means moving all of this up by one. And it wasn't actually as difficult as I thought it was going to be because now it's budded 
And when I break this, look at that, it still works perfectly. And then I need to raise everything up by one block again. After using pretty much every single brain cell in my body, I have come up with what is actually a very simple solution. I have worked out a solution which should work perfectly. Okay, wait, it didn't quite. One moment, I just need to do something like this. And there we go. Update suppression is back on. I just realized I could... I, you know what? That's what I did. All right, if you get that, well done. If you don't, most people don't. I'm not sure even I do. Let's just get on with this netherite portal. Oh my goodness. I messed up. And for some reason, I thought I could just break that block. Oh no, now I've got to <laughs> start all over again. I really can be a stupid idiot sometimes. I raise it up so that this time when I break the top one, it won't be a disaster. As you can see, the, the portal's still there. And I can place these netherite blocks on. Guys, I've, I've just realized something. I've duplicated netherite. I've, I've broken all mid principles. Update suppression allows you to duplicate blocks. And I accidentally duplicate the netherite because I started with 14 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 now I've got 22 what, what, what do I do? I'll tell you what I'm now going to do there we go, that is now completed and I now understand what's going on look, if I go ahead and mine this block, watch what happens Okay, we don't pick it up, but then if I go ahead and place a block, and then I click on inventory, it comes back, and then I, and then I, and then if I stopped update suppressing, I could then break the block like so. It's probably going to go through the. Okay, well, for demonstration purposes, but I can see how it's duplicating. And this netherite port. What the heck? What? Why is every time I redo this portal, I'm just duplicating more and more netherite. This time, I've done it. No, no more mistakes. Netherite portal is complete. Let's get those blocks down. I built it in the wrong flipping place. I don't know what's wrong with me today, but I, I just cannot do anything right. And now just look at all these netherite blocks that I've got. I came with 14, now I've got 62. This time, there will be no mistakes. And this time, the portal is finished <laughs> and it is in the right place. Thank goodness for that. Well, my next issue is that I have these 61 blocks of netherite that are all duplicates. I, I shouldn't have these. I also have these 10 blocks of diamonds, which I think I also duplicated them by mistake. And what am I going to do with all of these duplicated blocks? Well, of course, I'm going to finish this netherite beacon. Don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. This is way better than mining for netherite. You know what? Who cares about duplicating? You know, you guys always tell me to duplicate sand and I always say, well, I might as well duplicate netherite if I'm going to do that. And then I've only going to do it, so I, I might as well duplicate sand as well. I'm actually kidding, by the way. I, I don't plan to use this, this duplicated netherite. That's cheating. And I think I placed way too many netherite blocks for that joke because now I have to spend ages just mining them all up. Could have just placed three of them down and called it a day. Also, do you notice how I cleverly kept all those ones separate from the ones that are not duplicated? Because, you know, I, I wanted to keep the originals separate. And now let's head to the nether and burn all the netherite. Oh, there it goes. We'll burn the diamond blocks as well. Oh, what a shame. Burn a load of netherite. Didn't need to do that. And meanwhile, I shall build the next of the custom portals. This one's going to be an emerald one. And this one is now also complete, which means I need to burn these emerald blocks as well. We don't allow duplicating in this world. And I've also created the gold portal. And I've wanted to make one out of redstone blocks, but I think it updates something. So it, yeah, it doesn't work. Instead, I've done one with amethyst. Five custom portals have been created. And I do want to do five more on this side. But first, I've got to get rid of these blocks that I accidentally duplicated. And the lava's got to be the best place for that. No oh, look at that. My, my netherite's still here. I, I guess I'll have to keep it. Yeah, all this lovely netherite. We're not getting rid of it. I feel like I can only make that joke so many times. You know, I wonder if it's these snowballs that caused all the lag for me before. If that guy's throwing snowballs for hours, yeah, and, and then they, they all just kind of get thrown at once when I load the entrance. I, that's the problem. And so that means I should turn this chunk loader off and place a redstone block here so that that guy stops throwing snowballs. Look at that. Look at that. You see them all? They just, they just came through. That was the problem. That was what caused the lag. I saw the snowballs. Okay. I nearly died because of a million snowballs. That's interesting. Anyway, we've got all these netherites going in the void, guys. Okay. That, that is, that is where there will be no issues, okay? I, I will not be going after, oh, I'm jumping in after it, no, just kidding. Look, watch it, watch it get destroyed. There we go, it's all gone. I'm not going to get destroyed with it. Let me, let me fly back out of here. Yeah, that was a little risky. I mean, I like to have plenty of durability. I've got plenty of rockets, maybe not that risky. And now I should get back to creating custom portals. First one's been lit, and the sandstone's gonna go along here. And I believe to turn a corner, I've gotta do, so I've never really done this before, so yes, this, this might not work. But I believe something like that is needed, and then I can, can I go in this day? Is this how, how it works? <laughs> this works. It will be nothing short of a miracle. And after a lot of trial and error, I've managed to send it around these two corners. When I do this, everything gets update suppressed. And I've also realized it makes the most sense to do the end one first and then work my way that way. So let's get creating the portals. I want the end one to be made out of beacons, although I, I'm going to need a few more for that. So let's craft all of them together. Then I'll place a bit of white concrete behind where the beacons would go. 
and then we do something like that. The reason the white concrete's behind is because you, you can see through beacons. And that is the beacon portal now complete. The duplicated ones can be burnt. And next I want some glowstone for custom portal number seven. And now this one is done as well. And I want this one to be made out of mushroom blocks. But I don't think I've ever got any of them in my world. It's one of those things that I've, I've never felt the need to collect. But there's mushrooms up ahead, which I can mine with this silk touch pickaxe. And now that I've got 14, I can chuck away that spare glowstone. Okay, why? Oh, blocks of netherite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I, right, I'll explain a story. I have been doing more netherite block duping because when I was trying to get these update suppressors to go around corners, I, I did accidentally briefly break the netherite portal. So it had to be redone. So I better chuck all these into the void. And the mushroom portal can now be created. There we... Alright, well, gotta do it again. And there we go. Although mushroom portals are a little bit more complicated because if you break a block next to a mushroom block, it will break the portal. But I, I think this one, it's okay because it's update suppressed. I don't know if I break that one, it won't work though. But I need the white concrete in between. So I can't place white concrete there unless I suppress... Yeah, I, <laughs> mushroom portals are weird. So will placing this break it? No, okay. Maybe I don't quite understand the, the mechanics of mushroom blocks as well as I thought. But anyway, that doesn't matter because it is time to do the next one. And I think I'll grab the materials for the final two, actually. Pumpkins is something I shall need. And they also need to be carved. And I can craft them like that. Very nice. And continue the building work. Bit difficult getting all this machine to work, but I have now <laughs> finished this one. I've got one to go. It's going to be made of magma. Hopefully it goes to plan. Kind of against the odds, it, it is going to plan. Oh, and I spoke too soon. I am now so close to finishing this. It's been a very, very awkward one. But once I place that, it is all done. Now we can put that there. I don't have to worry about it. I can now break the rails. No problem. And the 10 custom portals are complete. I do just want to add concrete all the way around the mushroom one to make sure nothing breaks that might break. But I think I think it's all okay. Yep, it's all completely fine. I, I don't see anything that can go wrong anymore. <laughs> Famous last words. So I reckon I can safely remove the entire contraption. Things are starting to look a lot tidier. I can start removing all of this as well. Then I can go around it with the white concrete. Everything is starting to come together. Next, I will need some sea lanterns, which I apparently have loads of in there. Plus, I'm thinking prismarine bricks, which can be turned into stairs. Iron blocked because I have a ridiculous amount of iron. And if I head to spawn, I can grab all of this spare light blue concrete that I didn't use on that mega base. And then I can use the concrete to fill in the floor. The room's really starting to come to life. And I want stairs in front of each portal, which is why I haven't filled in these edges. So we're going to just do something like that, which goes all the way around. And then in each of these gaps is where the sea lanterns are going to go. It'll just nicely light up the room. Currently working on the walls, which involves a lot of iron blocks. And this is sort of how it's going to look. It still looks a bit uh, a bit rubbish, but maybe with a bit more white concrete, I can sort it out. It may be helped a little, but there's still work to be done. I was going to make this back wall to be only white concrete, but it's going to look terrible, so I'm, I'm adding a bit of decoration to it. And in order to do that, I'm going to need quite a bit of glass and also some lava. And so the glass is going to go in these gaps that I am creating. Very nicely done. Before I add the lava, I've just got to make sure that it, it, it won't go everywhere. You know, I don't want it to go into all this machine. So I'll get these walls all filled in and also the roof. And I'm pretty sure it should now be... Oh, oh, what on earth? <laughs> Didn't expect to fly all the way down there. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure it should, should now all be fine if I just do something like that. Yeah, look at that. The lava's flowing. It's it's working perfectly. And look at that. I had enough lava buckets as well. I, I didn't expect that to be the case. That means I can fill in all of the white concrete as well. And I was going to say, look at that. It's really coming together, but... For some reason, something didn't work. Probably can't count or something like that. But yeah, one more lava bucket will do the trick. I like the look of that. And I didn't accidentally get lava everywhere either. And now to get this left wall done. I almost finished the wall, but... Uh then I ran out of concrete. And I'm going to need quite a bit of concrete for the entire roof, so I might as well craft a load more. Although there's one slight issue with that. Uh, <laughs> not enough sand. So I'm going to craft a bunch of TNT and grab some iron pressure plates. I can never remember where I put them. Okay, I do put them in there. And then I just need to find a desert that I can demolish. Kind of already ruined this desert, but you know what? I'm, I'm going to just use this little area left and finish the job. I've not done too much blowing up, but I think I've got enough for what I need for the time being. That's the shulker box full of sand. Plus the inventory, yeah, that's that's absolutely perfect. Then I can craft plenty more of the white concrete, convert it with the machine. Next, I can finish this wall and get the scaffolding out to begin work on the roof, which is going to be completely made out of white concrete. And that is all complete. The scaffolding can be removed, which is it's just satisfying to watch because you just kind of break them and you just look at it. It just all collapses right in front of your very eyes like, uh, well, like that. And that leaves me with one wall left. 
What am I going to do with this wall? Well, I'm going to require quite a lot of obsidian for the project. And then I'm going to create some art. You never know, there's a chance that you might work out what it's going to be. Go on, I'll give you guys a guess. I've barely placed anything. Any ideas? <laughs> if you did have an idea, then uh, you're, you're pretty much just a genius. Oh, now you know, don't you? I bet you can tell what it's going to be now. Unfortunately, I have once again run out of all the concrete, but it's finished. This is, uh, this is what it will look like. Yeah, I need a bit more to go in that corner. But what do you think for that? That's a pretty uh, pretty nice design. Still not quite finished, but, but but it'll get there. And so it's back to converting more concrete. And so that is all of the white concrete pretty much placed down. And next I'm going to go around this edge with obsidian. Very bizarrely, I, I can hear shulkers. What on earth? There's shulkers living <laughs> <laughs> in here. Okay, well, uh, you guys, sorry to disturb you. I am very, very sorry. I'll leave you guys alone. If I ever need another shulker, I, uh, I know where to find one. Anyway, the full obsidian border is done, but I am not done because I'm also going to have obsidian at the back of it, which is, is going to require quite a lot. Did I bring enough? Possibly not. But either way, we are soon going to find out. And that is mission accomplished. Did I, wait, did I place that final one? <laughs> Maybe it's not mission accomplished. We are about to find out. I think it was, wasn't it? I never miss. Why would I think that I missed? Anyway, let's mine back out. As you can see, it's it's probably looking a bit worse right now. What's that? It looks like some weird Sonic EXE thing or something. No, instead, I need to grab myself some flint and steel, light that up, and when I turn and look at it, it it's going to look like a Sonic the Hedgehog portal. Look at it, it's amazing. Part of me would have liked to use an update suppressor to get the portal blocks to be in, like, in between the obsidian, but you saw how hard it was just to do something simple like this. That would have probably taken me about 20 hours, so I, I, you know, I didn't fancy it. But yeah, the portal room is now complete. I hope you guys like it. I think it's a, a very, very cool room. And I, I won't be able to do this in 1.19. Wouldn't be able to create it, so that's why I've done it now. Oh my goodness, we haven't even finished these walls. And whilst I fill in these walls, could I maybe just ask that you guys could subscribe? You know, I work so, so hard on this series. It takes so much work. I basically have no social life because of the series. And I'm really trying to hit 4 million subscribers this year. So if you could help me out and subscribe... That would be amazing. The bricks have been filled in, but I could definitely do with some torches to nicely light everything up. And now everything's definitely finished and I'm very, very pleased with it. And now I think I shall take this moment to repair all of my different tools and whatnot. You know, my Elytra could do with a little bit of it. And the best place for that is, of course, going to be this gold farm. Everything repaired and I've gained lots more levels. And now it is time I gather the materials for my machine that will one-shot the dragon. This is going to be very, very powerful and require a lot more red concrete than I currently have. But at the very least, it's not going to require more sand or gravel than I currently have because we... Well, actually, are we going to have enough gravel? Maybe that's the, the missing thing. Yeah, we actually do not have enough gravel. Now, there is two ways to get the gravel. I can trade it with piglins, but that, that would take quite a few hours. Or I can go and search for one of the ancient debris tunnels that I've made in the nether. I happen to remember the exact location of one which is right down a hole here. And in this tunnel, there's loads of gravel for me to find. And this tunnel is thousands of blocks long, so I don't think I have to worry about running out anytime soon. Managed to fill up my inventory once. I didn't actually realize I'd brought this many shulker boxes. I almost feel like I'm obligated to fill them all now, but that going to take a, a, a bit of mining, but it's, it's all here to be gathered. Not sure I need all of the gravel for this build, but it will be useful for future projects. I've filled up all the shulker boxes, but I've filled up two. I've got a load of inventory. I, I think for now, I've got enough gravel. Although I think I've got lost in these tunnels and I have randomly come across loads more gravel. So maybe it is worth grabbing. At this point, I've just decided to dig my way out. But even doing that means that I still can't stop finding the gravel. Oh my goodness, look at that. A little bit of ancient debris as well for my time. And not just one piece. <laughs> well, if I can pick, up, pick it up. At least two pieces. Could it be three? It could be three. Well, that was a very nice little find indeed. And now I'm just going to risk everything and swim up through the lava. I think I might be able to even fly upwards, maybe? Okay, I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm hitting. Some sort of roof. Is it a bastion or something above me? All I know is that it is impossible for me to die, so, you know. <laughs> I say. I, look, I am in some sort of bastion. And my totem is not close to... It's not far off being used. Okay, I have actually got to be a little bit careful. Imagine someone just comes and grabs me. Have I been to this bastion before? I don't even know. What a, what a cool thing that would be if it's just a random bastion. Watch this. Oh, look at this. More ancient debris. Oh, wow, this is, this is really cool. Could there be a not chaplain here? I'll tell you what, I'll take the diamonds. Okay, um, watch out for that big guy, but... Whoa! Okay, now I've got to be careful. Now, I've... okay, we've got we've got fire resistance. I actually do not want to die. I've, I've almost died of... Okay, hold on, it's me. Don't, don't panic. <laughs> oh my goodness, what am I doing with my life in a bastion? Right, get myself another totem ASAP. That was way more stressful than it ever should have been. Okay, let's put all that back in there. We're okay. 
I just want to go home. What did I say before? I can't die. Yeah, well, those were famous last words, weren't they? Well, they, they were almost famous last words anyway. What are the chances of digging up under a bastion? Have I been to that bastion before as well? Well, I guess not, considering the loot that was there. Well, let's not worry about that. Let's just go ahead and get home and find another bastion on the way. Is this is this a similar size one? I, I, the thing is, it... You just don't know what... Right, let's just stop being in lava. But yeah, you just never know what you're going to find in these bastions. I think it is another treasure one by the sounds of... Well, by the size of it. Okay, well, we're straight to lava. Oh, yeah, it is a treasure one, I think. Yeah, alrighty. Let's, um... Let's go ahead and see if there's any loot here to be grabbed. Have I been here before? Uh, I, I, I guess possibly, but I think... I think is that just... Yeah, this is... Whoa, where did you come from? Only one chest, nothing worth grabbing. Let's keep going home. And I'm glad that I finally made it back. And before I craft the rest of the necessary materials, I'm going to once again repair my items. And I'm particularly talking about repairing my shovel. And that is everything repaired. So now I can happily craft the 2100 red concrete. Got all the necessary materials, which I can craft like so. And add to this shulker box. And now I can take all of this once again to the concrete converter. That did not take long at all. However, there's still many, many more items to get, so... Uh, don't think we're out of the woods just yet. For example, I require 20 stacks of black stained glass, which makes me glad that I built a squid farm not that long ago. That's definitely going to save me a load of time. And I'm also going to grab a load of these emeralds so that I can get a lot of redstone. With the amount of emeralds that my raid farm gives me, this is the fastest way that I can get quite a bit of redstone. That is more than enough for the task at hand, although they have all just restocked again, so it's, you know, it's worth just buying more. When they're willing to sell it, I'm willing to buy it. Slowly but surely, I'm getting all the needed items, but I still need quite a bit more sand so I'm going to blow up the area around this poor village. That will allow me to craft all the TNT I could possibly need and now I can get back to collecting up everything else which includes getting plenty more redstone. Quite a few items that I need are actually oh look at this I love this room just nice to come and see it again but as I was saying quite a few items that I need are actually still here on this update suppressor which you know I plan to destroy I just hadn't got around to it yet so I'm going to break a bit of it I don't know if I'll bother breaking the whole thing just yet. Well you know what I've decided there's no time like the present I need a few shulker boxes for the materials and I'll get busy mining. Everything's been removed. That'll probably be the last time I ever make an update suppressor in my world since it won't be in 1.19. Definitely the end of an era. And the helpful thing about all that is I definitely have enough powered rails now for the machine I will build. And also redstone blocks. Could also do with a few stacks of spruce leaves, which the tree farm can easily provide. It, it would probably be even easier if there wasn't snow everywhere. And I might as well mine up all the spruce wood whilst I'm here as well. And if you ask me, that's been quite a successful harvesting session. Got lots of leaves and lots of logs. Quite the process to get every single item that I need, but I will get there eventually. And I now have every single item that I need in all of these different shulker boxes. But I'm not sure I quite have enough redstone, because I had to use quite a bit of it to craft other things that I needed. No problem though, I'll just do a bit more trading and get loads of it again. Perfect, I will not have to worry about redstone anymore today. Now all of these shulker boxes can be transported to the end. In fact, before I go to the end, I'm going to grab a bit of wood, and I was going to use that to make a chest to put everything, although to be honest, that, that chest is kind of otherwise engaged so I think I think I made the right uh, <laughs> the right call in having this so we can just put a chest somewhere over here that's got all my shulker boxes in and I'll continue this project in a bit as I'm, I'm still not quite ready to be making the dragon farm because I feel like in this episode rather than make progress on the netherite beacon like I want to I have unfortunately regressed so that I could make a netherite portal which is it's a cool flex and I suppose I'll never be able to do it again so now my goal is not only make a netherite beacon it's make a netherite beacon and a netherite portal this is this is getting out of control. But anyway, because of that lack of progress, I'm going to go on a TNT collecting spree. And I've tracked down a desert. It has a pyramid right here, which is nice. So this is where I shall set up camp and destroy an entire desert. Although it might not be the entirety of it this, right? Might, might just be some of it. The plan is to craft TNT as often as possible. Rather than bring back loads of sand, I'll just kind of craft it as I go. Before I do another row, I, I want to check out what's inside this uh, desert pyramid. You never know. There could be something special. Although I've searched so many of these that we, we do know the answer. You know what? We're taking gunpowder and more gunpowder and sand because that's what we're on a mission for at the moment. And I'm going to take this 19 to it's, it's usually not really worth it, but I feel like, I don't know, on principle I should. And now to get back to blowing things up. Well, mission to fill three shulker boxes was successful. So now I should gather everything up and create another portal. And it's probably the best idea for me to first go home and drop off... <laughs> 
all these millions of shulker boxes. Even though I literally have millions and millions of shulker shells, I, I, I'd still feel bad just discarding these empty ones for, for some unknown reason. Although we're at the perimeter now, so we uh, we can't be too far away. All of this can now be dropped off. Then I can dig a big massive tunnel that'll be ready for lots and lots of TNT. I'm also grabbing as much gravel as I can because it, it'll just come in handy whenever I run into it. Although maybe it would have been a good idea to, to bring a few extra shulker boxes. Anyway, I'll grab as much as I can. Let's just get mining then I can place the TNT. The tunnel has been dug and all TNT placed. So now I shall light it up, chuck away a load of nether axe, I don't really need it, and then see just how much ancient debris I can find. Already got over a stack just from mining the tunnel. And I have to say, there's already been a lot of ancient debris that has been revealed. Hopefully it continues. And it probably will do when I keep finding these veins of three. And you know what? Sometimes when you see gravel, you just might as well grab it. And I am now up to two stacks on this mining trip with plenty more ancient debris in sight. It's not often you see six ancient debris all in an area this close. And in fact, it's it's seven, eight ancient debris because uh, this is a vein of three. That could still be a vein of three. But no, it's actually a vein of two. Look at that, we've got some more over there. Things are going very, very well. And that is stack number three. These trips now are not just searching for ancient debris. It's also a great way to get so much quartz and also lots of gravel. That is stack number four. Oh my goodness, I don't think I've ever seen that much ancient debris that close together. Five pieces all next to each other. Yeah, you never, you never really see that. Let's go ahead and grab them. That makes stack number five. Progress is coming along nicely. And that is the sixth one. And now I shall fly back home, grab a load of dirt that I can use as temporary blocks, and then I can begin work on this machine. So I will first grab all of these, then build a dirt tower going up really, really high. And now that I'm at the correct height, I'm going to build a fairly large dirt platform, which can have all of the shulker boxes on it. And I can also mine away at this tower. And so the first thing we're going to build here is the part that is going to shoot out the arrow that will one hit the dragon. So we're going to have something like that. And then I want dark oak fence with nether brick fence on top. And then the same thing here, which might be a little trickier. So I'm just going to do something like that. And from there, I build up with blackstone walls. Things are coming along very nicely. And this is the point where we need to create some headless pistons. I've made these before when I made a raid farm. So it's, it shouldn't be too difficult. There's just going to be a little bit of mining to be done as we replace things. I've also noticed this platform is absolutely full to the brim. <laughs> with Enderman. I guess it's because they can't spawn anywhere else, so they're just all spawning on a tiny little platform. So I need redstone dust with a lever like this. Then I need an end crystal there. Bit of fire on top of that. If we can just move away from the end crystal enough, we can set it on fire. Perfect. And then if I just stand back here, <laughs> flick this lever. We've got it. Oh, well, I accidentally fell, but we have got ourselves the headless piston. And now without depowering these, I need to, well, first of all, I need to put these redstone blocks and then I can remove the stuff behind them because if I unpower them, then they'll, they'll just go back to being normal pistons. Now let's continue building this. As I build more and more of this, it is starting to get more and more complicated. And this is just the beginning of the redstone. I feel like at this point, I should probably explain exactly what I'm doing. Basically, higher up, there's going to be loads of TNT that's going to come down and through a load of mechanisms, it's going to all converge here, be sent all the way down here and you know you can see some some movement will happen if i do something like that you can see loads of loads of redstone happens and an arrow is going to come down and the tnt is going to blast the arrow there's going to be so much of it it's going to blast the arrow to go so so fast that it one hits the dragon but all this involves is just basically me doing lots of complicated redstone it's really starting to take a bit of shape now that doesn't need to be there let's uh, spray that but yeah it's, it's starting to take shape but this is where it starts to get really really complicated i'm getting closer and closer to the top i'm, I'm optimistic that i'm going to finish but we need a boat here and this boat is kind of kind of bit a thing if i can place the boat it's going to be the thing that detects if <laughs> is that is that far enough in the corner but yeah it's going to be the detection system for when there's an end crystal in that little hole right there. Basically how it works is there's gonna be a piston there and then fences either side. And then I use those other pistons to push this down into the boat like so. It can all be mined up, no problem. And because of that pressure plate there, if something activates it, it activates the piston, activates everything. Well, the end crystal blowing up will act, will make the boat wiggle. I, can I, can I, can I, uh, Okay, well, it, anyway, it will make it will make the boat go on the uh, the pressure plate one way or another, which will activate this piston and activate the entire machine. And so now I shall get back to building. And I'm also going to break all of the concrete above this dirt because it's going to have to have TNT put there anyway, so it's, it, it might as well be removed. Then I'll be able to place it in once the TNT has been added. And I have now nearly reached the top of this. As you can see, it's, it's taking shape. Shall I give you a little bit of a, a look at it? Yeah, look at that. That looks like it could take out an Ender Dragon, doesn't it? <laughs> Very, very nice indeed. I thought the red really fits well. I can't find my pirate rockets. There we go. So yeah, I'm just kind of 
covering up the top now just to really bring everything together and once I place down this bit of redstone I do believe the entire thing is finished <laughs> except for the TNT so the key to adding the TNT is that you cannot place a single one wrong if I place one above like like let's say I place one there by mistake the whole thing blows up. Any wrong, one wrong placement with the TNT, and the last <laughs> however many hours, four hours, whatever I've spent on this, it, it, it's all going up in, in, well, it's all gonna blow up. So I'm just gonna take my time. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna rush. We're gonna be having red concrete on top, and then there needs to be glass on top of that. And I am just being so careful, so slow and steady. Mainly because if something does go wrong, I, I can't really like carry on the video because we've. You know, we're on day 4,000. We've got to get this finished. Got to, got to get wrapped up as soon as possible. And that's one of the TNT sections done. Just five more to go. Bit of a disaster. I, I seem to have run out of red concrete. I don't know, don't know how that happened. <laughs> and the sun is setting on day 4,000. We don't have much time. I bet the missing concrete is stuck up there in the machine. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know what I need to do. I grab a few stacks of sand and gravel, craft it all together, and send it through the machine. Now to grab it all, get back to the end, and back to placing TNT. And I have now done five out of the six ones so i just need to carefully do the final one on this side without misplacing any tnt and there we go everything should be absolutely perfect i think i'm ready to take on an ender dragon now before i do the test shot i uh, <laughs> need to get rid of this platform sorry enderman you thought you could live here but the answer is no you cannot let's let's go and get rid of all this and we're going to make sure it shoots this arrow directly downwards so it's it's all doing its thing okay and it needs to land this arrow right down the middle oh, no, i didn't i didn't do it i need to manually fire it hold on i'm not summoning an ender dragon just yet okay manual fire that that should set it all off okay it should be happening and an arrow should land don't fall in the thing but an arrow should land directly in the middle let's let's just go and get in position yeah when it when it works <laughs> an arrow should should come flying down right about here. Would have been cool to stand underneath it and get hit by an arrow that's going a million miles an hour, but um, <laughs> we'll have to just forego that. Unless I've got an idea. Right, we'll go like that, okay? Arrow aligned perfectly. Then we go and put this in, right? Which, which should make, I guess once I break that, that should, that should now be setting off the mechanisms to shoot the arrow down. I, I want to just get hit by an arrow. <laughs> I don't know why. So if I stand right here I'm, I'm right in the middle i'm gonna eat up so i've got my full health i'll make sure totem's in hand because this is going to hurt okay i think it's coming an arrow should have been fired down if if everything's going to plan and it missed <laughs> all right time for take two this time i know exactly where to stand here it comes oh look at that there we go we got one shot by an arrow and use the totem that's cool okay i hope another arrow doesn't come flying down now but how cool is that? From full health to nothing in one quick shot. And I've also had a little mod that lets me see what's inside Shulker Box if I hold shift because I was just getting annoyed at having to op open each one manually and stuff. So anyway, that, that's that. But I am so glad that everything is working. So now I think we, we do this properly. The new machine that is going to one shot the Ender Dragon and I haven't got what I need. I need a piston and a lever and also a bit of obsidian. So we place that there and then we go ahead and get rid of this. Next I can add a piston that will push that on, but the game doesn't kind of register that all four end crystals are there until you place another end crystal in the world and then it realizes. So I'll fire my arrow, place that end crystal and you'll see something is about to happen. There you go. Ender Dragon is beginning to be spawned. The timer is starting. I want to get a good spot to watch the, the show here. Okay, so you can see, yeah, it's happening. All right, the Ender Dragon is spawning. Where do I stand to watch this, uh, this beautiful, beautiful thing? I don't want to miss it. Okay, here we go. Wait, don't stand here. It's me. No, 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 get out of there. <laughs> that was a bad place to stand. Right, here we go. Here we go. It's starting. Ender Dragon spawns in. There we go, and it gets defeated in one shot. That's it. You think you're so powerful, Ender Dragon? No. You gracefully land right there, and it's defeated. I can't even see the machine up there because of the fog, but what an incredible machine this is. Such a much, much better dragon slayer thing than the last one that I built. Also kind of a penguin slayer because it, it did hit me, but anyway. So, I, I, we're on day 4001 now, and I've got one last thing that I promised that I would do in this world. Yes, I, I've got to do a jump, an MLG from Sky Limit. And you guys don't know if I survive or not because I still have technically survived 4,000 days in hardcore Minecraft. I just might not survive 4,001 days. This is the bucket that I choose. And this is the water. <laughs> 
that needs to say, why am I even doing this? Is it worth it? Some of you are probably saying, no, it's, it's, it's not worth it to the screen. <laughs> but hey, I've been doing this world for ages. I've got to spice it up one way or another. And I'm not just going to do sky limit to the, the top of the world. No, no, no. We're going all the way down to bedrock. The stakes have got to be high here, okay? There will be no totem in this. I actually feel my heart start to be beating. It's, <laughs> it's going a little faster than it was before. Farms are getting sweaty. I didn't think I was going to be this nervous by it. So I've, I've done this MLG before, but I had a totem in my hand. So totem, you go there. Okay. Cannot equip me elytra. We, we've got to be elytraless. I think it's time I stop stalling. The uh, the sun is going down. It's going to be the day, end of day 4001. Let's just do it. Here we go. All right. The first question is, do we make it through this hole? I hope so. I, I lined it up correctly. Yep, I did. Okay. Now... There we go! We landed it! Thank goodness for that. I couldn't really see the ground as I was coming down and I started to get a little bit nervous because it's, it's too much of a small hole to see where I'm going to land. I don't know why I even decided to ever do that. I'm never doing that again. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a day late finishing, but that was 4,000 and one days in hardcore Minecraft. Thanks so much for watching and being on the journey. And thank goodness the journey is still going to continue.